What's going on, guys? It's John from Behind the Diamond. Welcome back to my channel. I went to the Mount Kisco show uh, today, uh, and again, it was it was a forty table show, a small show, but it was it was jam packed. Uh, there was a lot of people there. Uh, there was I was very surprised on how many deals I got there, uh, and I could have probably bought more, uh, but this is what I bought. Uh, so. Guys, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Enjoy the video. It's a short, it's a short little video. Uh, I don't think I, I even recorded any transactions and stuff like that. But at the end of the video, I'll show you what I picked up. All right, guys, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Peace out. Hope you enjoy the video. Hey, what's going on guys it's john from behind a diamond welcome back to my channel i am here in mount kisco new york at a, at a card show it's about 30 or 40 tables in an american legion hall uh you know sometimes the best deals are at small shows like i always say so i hope i find some stuff it's going to be a short video because it's only, it's a smaller show so i'm just going to show you the show floor and i'll show you what i picked up all right guys make sure you subscribe to the channel what's up guys what's the name Mm -hmm. No, we're not set up. Oh, it's not open yet. Nine o'clock. Okay. Go for it. Yeah, the rest of me. Down the stairs, yeah. Thanks. You gotta come down to Hofstra? Yeah. Should. It's mean, a good two day show, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The name went to the Terry Street. You went? Yeah, I wasn't at the Terry Town this time around. I usually do it every single time. I had, I had basketball stuff I had to do. And... I imagine this will be a free video. Yeah. Uh, no, uh, <laughs> well, you can try to skip all this. All right, so. You want to see something? I can pull it off. I know it's dark. All right, bad blur. Okay.
Scope prism. Come here. You have a ten. Let's see that. Irish pro loves soccer. I, mean, I have a lot of soccer. Oh, yeah, he's right. He loves enjoying the soccer that like you wouldn't believe. I thought I brought him just in case of his name in the paper. I thought maybe somebody would want him. Gotta get that photo. Oh, you can't see the photo. I really. Oh. We'll do this for this one card. Locked jaw. Oh, no, you're right though, duh, you couldn't tell that it was a auto. Terrible. But I still attribute the lighting to my best find ever at a card show, so I can't complain. Are you the one that got that Zach Trout paint bill from me? Was that you? No. It was, a, it was a guy that's around here and has a card shop.
Wits and stuff. Wits and J-Rods. I'll figure out if I'm going to grade those. I'm going to ton of the heritage rookies because I was thinking I did this too. Oh, oh, God. You know what? The slabs don't work well on there. Let's not do that. <laughs> no, they work better on these than my arrows. Hey, how are you? Is it sicker when you want? Yeah. Uh, what do you do? I'm probably going to say it's even though it's too much of anything, it's just a good thing. This part is really fun. Oh, that's the part. Oh, that's the part. Oh, that's the part. Oh, that's the part. All right, guys. So this is what I picked up. I mean, like I told you, it's not much, but it's also it's only a 40 table show. I, I thought it was very good. I'm happy that I went. I haven't been there uh, in a while. So, all right. So this is what I picked up. I'll start off with an easy. It was an easy transaction. This was a two dollar transaction. Uh, a 1971 Bob Gibson. It's a little beat up, a little off centered, a little beat up, but you can't go wrong with that. I mean, for two dollars. You could definitely put this in a bargain bin for about ten bucks, eight to ten bucks, and uh, you know four times your money, or just keep it. Maybe add it to a set that you're doing, like maybe a very good set or whatever. So that's what I picked up. Only two bucks. All right. Now I'll just go with the singles. I usually don't like to buy single stuff. You know, I like to bulk stuff up. But uh, these two cards are pretty good prices. Can't go wrong with that. A 1964 Topps, Roger Maris, and a PSA 6. A little off-scented, but it's still a Yankee. Roger Maris, you can't pass it up. It was 60 bucks. I just thought it was very good at that price. Uh, I didn't even, you know, I didn't even comp it. It's just off the top of my head. I think 60 bucks is a fair, fair deal for that. Nice card. All right. I picked up an Ernie, a 1961 Ernie Banks in a PSA 6. Just like the 1961s, again, this was also 60 bucks from a different dealer. Uh, so you can't go wrong with that. You know, I mean, I think this card goes between 80 and 120. So, I mean, you can, if, if I ask 100 for it, you know, at least I, uh, I'll make a little bit of money on that. If not, I'll just keep it. All right. I'll start off with this. This deal was uh, from a nice... Uh, very nice young lady. Uh, she had some really good stuff. Uh, she really she gave good prices. She she was talking. It, it was she was very very nice. So this is what I picked up from her. I think this I think it cost me one hundred and sixty bucks. A DJ Lemayu auto number to two ninety nine, an Aaron Judge jersey game used with the pinstripe to two ninety nine, a Vlad Guerrero Jr. auto, and a Pete Alonzo Stadium Club Auto for 160 bucks. Okay? So I'm just thinking right here I could probably get my $160 back. And these were two throw-ins. I could probably get about 20 bucks for this, $25 for this, and about $25 for this. So I'll make 50 bucks on top of this. Maybe a little bit more, but still. Not bad for $160. Good experience. All right. Uh, let me go with this. This is pretty cool, too. This was a really good deal. A uh, Alvarez Pristine Auto with the jersey right there. A Wade Boggs. You know, I always buy all the Hall of Famers. A Wade Boggs Auto, number to 50. Paul Arzen Auto. You don't see these that often. On card. This is this is sick right here. A Ken Griffey Jr. Two color 
triple patch, number to 89 out of UD Premier, one of my favorite products of all time, patch, two color patch on each letter right there, alone, I mean, this, this card is probably about 150 bucks, and a Don Manningly Dunruss rookie PSA 8, I picked this lot up for $200. So I'm factoring this is going to be probably about an $80 card right here. I'm probably going to X $120. I could probably get $150, but I'm going to X $120 for this. All right. So right here, that's $200. So I got my money back. And then I got this right here. We got a Boggs Auto. That's probably about like $30. Alvarez is probably about $40. That's probably about $50. And that's how I like to buy in bulk. And nice, you know, mid-range showcase cards too. You know, I could stack up all my Wade Boggs autos and all that. You guys know how I do, so. All right. Or I just get to keep this because I love King Griffey Jr. That's just a great card. You don't see that, that, that card that often. All right. This lot right here was $180. Ozzy Smith. This collect this uh, this is an awesome collection right here though, like I'm buying all these types of cards from this set. So if you see me at shows, actually guys, I'm gonna be at the Effeter PA show in Lancaster, PA uh, on Saturday. If you you know you watch my channel, you know what I like. I'll be walking around, so make sure you find me. Bring some Hall of Fame autographs. Bring some jersey cards. Bring some stuff. I will be walking around. As soon as those doors open, I will be there for at least four or five hours. So come and look for me uh, and, you know, sh sell me your Hall of Fame autographs. All right. So I got an Ozzy Smith, number to 99, a Mike Schmidt, number to 99, an Eddie Murray, number to 25, and a Tim Raines, number to 99. All Hall of Famers. You can't go wrong with that. This was, I think this was 180, 185. I forgot what I paid, but around there. Can't go wrong with that. Great deal on that. All right. Uh, I met a, uh, I met Sammy Thunder for the first time at this show. Awesome guy. He gave me such a great deal. Guys, make sure, this is a pretty cool card too. A 19, I think I'm, I'm going to think about doing something like this. A 1968 look, uh, Sammy Thunder on YouTube, he gives out great deals. He has some nice vintage stuff, graded, ungraded, you know, a bunch of stuff that he has. Really cool guy. It was a very easy transaction. I think we went back and forth once or twice on, on prices. Very easy, and we came to an agreement. All right? I think I picked this up for 130 bucks. I mean, Sammy, if you're watching, uh, it, I think it was between 130 or, I mean, 230 or 250 I, I don't know. I think it was 230 though. It was a Willie Mays 1964 uh, SGC4. The centering is awesome on this. It just has like maybe a little, little bit of a crease over there, but the centering is nice on that. A 1959 Ernie Banks in a four. Again, guys, I'm buying all this type of stuff too. So just if, if you see me, at next week's show, bring it. All right. And a Roberto Clemente, 1965 in a four. The centering is awesome on this card too. I'm looking to, I'm actually, this is my next set that I'm actually building. The 1965 set. So this will come in handy. All right. So this was a great deal, I believe. If, even if it was 250 it was still a great deal. But I think I paid 230 if I, if I remember correctly. All right. My boy, Sammy Thunder. Thank you for the deal. Nice vintage. A little bit of mix here. You know, a $2 card. You can't be shy. You know, I mean, I know people don't show off $2 cards, but a 1971 Bob Gibson for 2 bucks. A little beat up, but still, you can't go wrong with that. Some Hall of Fame autographs. Some Yankees. A, a sick Ken Griffey Jr. that you don't see that often. This is the type of stuff that I like to buy. All right, guys. Uh, thanks for watching, uh, and I will, uh, I'll see you at the next, uh, next show. All right. Thanks for watching. Make sure, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Peace out guys.